This is going to be a video tutorial on how to crop images using shapes in Adobe Illustrator. I will be using Illustrator 2023 for this. Let me uh, jump over to Illustrator here. Okay, I have Illustrator opened up now and I have an image on my artboard here. To crop an image into a shape in Adobe Illustrator, First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go off to the Tools panel on the left hand side here. And under the Rectangle tool, I'm going to place my mouse cursor in the bottom right hand corner of the Rectangle tool. And I'm going to hold down the left mouse button for about two seconds until these other options appear here. These are all the tools that are under the Rectangle tool. I'm going to go off to the right here. You could select an ellipse, which is a circle, a polygon. A star. I'm going to select the star here. I'm going to click on star. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to bring my cursor over to my artboard where my image is. And I'm just going to uh, left click here, just one time, left click. The little dialog box that opens up here, it's asking me how many points do I want my star to have. I want it to have five, uh, five points on it. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to go up back over to the Tools panel and I'm going to click on the Selection tool. And then I could rotate my uh, star by placing my mouse cursor in the corner and turning. I could rotate it. And I'm also going to uh, stretch out my star. I'm going to place my mouse cursor back in the corner here and I'm going to increase the size of my star. You could hold down the uh, Shift key to keep the star shape as you're moving it. Hold down the shift key. I'm going to left, let go of my left mouse button. I'm going to reposition it a little bit. I'm going to rotate it a little bit more. About like that. And I'm going to increase the size a little bit more. I'm going to pull out again. After I start pulling out, I'm going to hold down the shift key to keep the shape of my star. Right about like that. Now I'm going to position my star where I want it. You can position it anywhere you want. I'm going to place mine about right, right about here. And now to crop this image, to crop this shape out of the image, I already have my star selected. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I'm going to click out here on my image because I want both of them selected. Then I'm going to go up to the object tab. I'm going to click on object. Then I'm going to go down to the very bottom and place my mouse cursor over clipping mask. I'm going to slide straight off to the right and I'm going to click on make. Now I have cropped that uh, shape out of my uh, image here. You could do that on you could do this these same steps on any of the uh, on any of the shapes. You could have star or triangle, a uh, circle, then to save this, I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to go down to where it says Export. I'm going to place my cursor over Export. I'm going to slide straight off to the right to where it says Save for Web Legacy. I'm going to click on Save for Web Legacy. Now in this dialog box off to the right, I'm going to make sure I have a uh, Clip to uh, artboard is unchecked. You don't want that to be checked. Up above here, you want transparency to be checked. And then you want to make sure that you're saving this as a uh, PNG. You can click the drop down here. It gives you different options. Uh, a GIF file, a JPEG, PNG 8 or PNG 24. You want to select either PNG 8 or PNG 24. I've selected PNG 24. Then you want to go down to the very bottom and click on save. And from here, I'm just going to name this uh, illustration. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom here and click on save. Now if I open up my folder, and I just got to find here's illustration right here, I'm going to double click on it. There is my star right there.
That is how you crop an image into a shape in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.